त्रिपुरा के लोगों ने ऐलान कर दिया है उन्हें सबका साथ सबका विकास वाली सरकार चाहिए People have made up their mind, fed up of this government. They have decided to vote against the BGP. They have decided to uproot the BGP, and tsunami is inevitable in these elections. Puna Bahumat Wali Sarkar Chai. CM ke kam par vote ho raha hai ya Modi ji ke naam par? Modi ji. Modi ji. Hello, good evening and welcome to this special episode of Breaking Views. Our election jatra continues through the state of Tripura. And today, ladies and gentlemen, it's the penultimate day for their campaigning. Tomorrow, the campaigning in the state of Tripura ends. You, would be, you must be wondering, why am I standing before an empty stage that two of the left parties? In fact, I was trying to catch the chief minister, the former chief minister of uh, uh, Tripura, uh, stalwart as far as the politics of Tripura is concerned. A man who ruled the state for 20 years from 1998 to 2018 when the BJP dislodged the left government in the last election. Manik Sarkar was here. He was addressing the supporters here in, in fact, Agartala. He's just left. I will try and get you that interview in just a short while from now. But let's start with what happened today. And today, in fact, the headlining act was Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who just in a matter of three days, he was here on Saturday, gave it a break on Sunday and is back here on Monday for his third election rally in the state of Tripura. That does tell you how important it is for the Bharatiya Janata Party in this high stakes battle because Tripura is the state which is starting a very long election season in the year 2023, which will culminate into the important battle of 2024 when the country decides who is going to be the Prime Minister for the next four years from 24 to 29. So Tripura in that sense, uh, every political party, the BJP hoping for a winning start in 2023, Congress left coming together. That is something unthinkable. That was something unthinkable before this election. Both these arch rivals coming together, hoping for a revival in Tripura. Meanwhile, the TMC is also hoping to gain some traction in the state and of course a new party which is being known as the X Factor among the tribals, the party of the Royal Scion, uh, Prajyudev Barman in fact uh, also uh, in the fray, the Tipra Mota. But let me talk about uh, first uh, the Prime Minister's uh, rally here today in Agartala. In a very trademark Narendra Modi style, we have seen that time and again and once you land in Tripura, you would know how the BJP has gone all out uh, in terms of the resources that they are using to and plaster every inch of Tripura of Agartala in the BJP flag. Prime Minister Narendra Modi from airport when he was going to the venue of the rally, the Prime Minister in fact uh, did his roadshow. Uh, there were BGP, you know barricades put up, supporters on both the sides, and 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 the whole attempt was to show how much people like Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In fact, I will have to tell you that despite the factionalism in the BJP, Modi is one factor which overrides as far as the voters, those who prefer the BJP as well. Now, the Prime Minister, after his roadshow, went and uh, addressed the rally in Agartala. And uh, in the rally, the Prime Minister kept a very sharp attack. It was a very clear focus as far as the PM's rally was concerned. One, was to try and woe the women voters. He kept talking about uh, how the women voters are important, how the policies of the government of India and the government of Tripura have helped the women in the state. And then, of course, he reminded, took people back in the past and said that the violence and the people, those who have passed away in the political violence between the left and the Congress, how will they forget what had happened between both these parties? That was the attack of Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister in Tripura. Let's just listen in to what he said at the rally. एक समय था जब एक ही पार्टी के झंडे हर तरफ दिखते थे और किसी को तो एंट्री नहीं थी और किसी ने झंडा लगाया तो शाम को डंडा आया आपने रेड सिग्नल हटाकर भाजपा का डबल इंजन लगाया और आज 
त्रिपुरा विकास की पटरी पर लौट आया है बीते 25-30 साल में जो खाई त्रिपुरा में खोदी गई थी उसे भरने के लिए त्रिपुरा की भाजपा सरकार दिन रात मेहनत कर रही है एक बात का ध्यान रखने को कहूंगा लेफ्ट और कांग्रेस वाले कभी भी त्रिपुरा का विकास नहीं कर सकते लेफ्ट और कांग्रेस हमेशा यही चाहेंगे कि त्रिपुरा गरीब से गरीब राज्य बना रहे लेफ्ट कांग्रेस और उनके जैसी सोच वाले दल त्रिपुरा के लोगों को गरीब रखकर अपनी तिजोरी भरना चाहते हैं मीन द कांग्रेस विच इज यू नो ट्राइंग टू गेन गेन अ फुट होल्ड बैक इन द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ त्रिपुरा इज प्लेइंग द माइनर पार्टनर एज फार एज द अलायंस विथ विद द लेफ्ट इन द कांग्रेस इज कंसर्न probably was hoping that the congress supporters would be hoping that rahul gandhi and priyanka gandhi would have come here for campaigning that's not happening but uh, far away from here in kerala's wayanad where it's an absolutely opposite situation imagine what politics does i mean left and congress are coming together here in tripura uh, in kerala it's the left versus the congress battle which is going on in wayanad in fact rahul gandhi uh, attacked the prime minister so just listen in to what the prime minister said uh at uh, to what rahul gandhi said attacking the prime minister uh, from his constituency of wayanad in kerala the prime minister directly insults me he says why is your name gandhi and not nehru so the prime minister of the country directly insults me but his words are not taken off the record but it does not matter because the truth always comes out and and all you had to do was look at my face when i was speaking and look at his face his face while he was speaking look at how many times he drank water how his hand was shaking when he was drinking water and you'll understand everything he doesn't realize the absolute last thing i'm scared of is narendra modi all right so the very uh, in fact personal attack there uh, on the prime minister by rahul gandhi and he has been in fact uh, calling out the prime minister and there has been the issues of mr mr rahul gandhi is also picking up uh, and he was in wayanad today in kerala now um coming back to agartala the prime minister spoke there were people who had come to listen to him one peculiar thing ladies and gentlemen and that also can be attributed to the rise of the bjp is how the congress vote in 2018 shifted to the bjp so for a party which was 2% before 2018 became a party of 44% vote riding on the congress vote which deserted the congress and went to the bharatiya janata party i spoke to a few supporters of the bjp and i found many of them before 2018 were congress supporters who now are now swearing by the prime minister take a look <coughs> Prime Minister Narendra Modi's third rally in Tripura wrapping this up here in Agartala a long speech by the prime minister where he spoke largely about uh, his connect with the women voter the speech was about labharthis uh, the people those who have got the benefits of uh, various schemes of the government and the prime minister ensured that uh, he tries and address an important constituency of the women so an emotional connect and of course the attack on uh, the congress and the left combined which is fighting the election against the bjp uh, the prime minister in fact taking people back reminding them how uh, there has been a lot of violence between the left and the congress and saying how can their voters forget uh, those those kind of things that took place uh, in the past so let's just try and get a sense from the voters those who are uh, here the people those who came largely try and uh, you know these these are the people those who are uh, bjp supporters Uh, so we'll try and get a sense of what uh, from the prime minister's rally in fact uh, resonated uh, with them uh, as they come out of uh, this rally a uh, lot of women in fact like must say uh, who had come uh, for this rally aap logo ne suna pradhan mantri ko suna pradhan mantri ko so uh, you know uh, uh, as you can see the, uh, the rally has just gotten over 
सर क्या आप सबसे बड़ी बात लगी आपको प्रधानमंत्री की स्पीच की यस yes, बुरी अच्छा लगती है अच्छा लगा लगेगा क्या अच्छा लगा वो उसका बात क्या बात बोला है हाँ। देश के प्रगति के लिए त्रिपुरा हाँ। का उन्नति के लिए हाँ। जो जो वादा किया सब कुछ पूरा हो गया इसीलिए भाजपा को मतदान दे, देना होगा आप हमेशा से बीजेपी वोटर थे यस आई मीन इससे पहले ट्वेंटी एटीन ट्वेंटी नहीं मैं एटीन से दिया 18 से बीजेपी को दिया उससे पहले किसको देते थे तो कांग्रेस को जीता है कांग्रेस को देते थे जजापुर को जीता है तो कांग्रेस कांग्रेस का वोटर बीजेपी पे आ गया आ गया है चलता ही रहेगा कांग्रेस बीजेपी के साथ रहेगा रहेगा वापस नहीं जाएगा नहीं जाएगा क्यों नहीं जाएगा बाटपर के साथ क्यों जाएगा बाटपर कांग्रेस के साथ क्यों जाएगा ये तो गद्दार है कांग्रेस गद्दार है जो लोग अच्छा करेगा उसके साथ जाएगा जो अच्छा करेगा जो अच्छा करेगा जो भी अच्छा काम कर बिजली भी तो अच्छा है सो एस आई सेड इट ऑल वेरी एंथ्यूज बीजेपी वर्कर्स बट इट आल्सो टेल्स � uh, uh, in Tripura, the Congress vote bank completely shifting in mass uh, to, in fact, uh, uh, the uh, supporters uh, of uh, the, the Congress now, in fact, uh, in the BJP's uh, uh, side. Uh, some very fancy uh, supporters also here. Sunglasses when the uh, sun is down uh, thereafter as well. Uh, so a lot of uh, you know these people coming out. You know, uh, I will just show you that truck which is going on. Sanjay, so, so quickly, if we can show that, that's a BJP campaign uh, truck which is going on. And as I told you, the BJP has put in a lot of machinery. So, in contrast with this massive rally that you saw of the Prime Minister, huge preparation all across. I was here for this uh, sabha of uh, the former Chief Minister Manik Sarkar. What I want to, in fact, uh, what I was very impressed with, with as soon as the the sabha got over. Uh, all the chairs have been stacked up. These are volunteers from the left parties only. This entire uh, ground has been cle cleared up. Uh, there is no, you know, uh, no uh, garbage or anywhere. So all this is uh, was a very swift operation. The flags have been removed. Uh, Sanjay, just turn around. The flags in, near the stage. The flags have been removed, neatly packed. So uh, on one hand, you see the massive infrastructure and the resources that the BJP has on the other, the left parties, uh, uh, the way they are in fact conducting their small, limited, very left trademark kind of a, uh, a way of uh, conducting election rallies. Uh, I'll try and uh, get a word from few of the, the people, those who are standing here. Um, आज मोदी जी का भी रैली था बहुत बड़ा रैली था और आपके फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर भी आते हैं जो यहाँ के सबसे बड़े नेता हैं आप लोग छोटे छोटे इस तरह की वो मीटिंग्स करते हैं आपको लगता है इसका असर ज्यादा होगा या उससे ज्यादा लोग आते हैं देखिए मैं बोलना चाहता हूँ कि वो लोग जो मोदी आते हैं मोदी तो इंडिया का प्राइम मिनिस्टर है पर वो ऐसे आते हैं कि जो बीजेपी का प्राइम मिनिस्टर है आके बोलते हैं कि आओ मेरे सभा में आओ और वो लोग तो पैसे दे के धमका के बोल के रेगा जो रेगा काम करते हैं वो लोग के बोलते हैं उसके लेकर आते हैं बट मैं आज रैली में गया था ऐसा नहीं था बहुत सब लोग अपनी मर्जी से भी आते हैं लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल दो केम ऑन देर ओन एज वेल हाँ आ सकते हैं वो लोग भी आ सकते हैं क्योंकि हम लोग इंडिपेंडेंट कंट्री में रहते हैं आ ही सकते हैं ऑफकोर्स बट टेल वन थिंग एवरीबडी इज आसिंग ओनली वन क्वेश्चन वेदर द कांग्रेस एंड द लेफ्ट विच व द एनिमीज इन द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ त्रिपुरा वेदर दे वुड बी एबल टू कम टूगेदर विल द वोट ट्रांसफर टेक प्लेस डू यू थिंक दैट दे विल ऑन द ग्राउंड द कांग्रेस वर्कर्स एंड द लेफ्ट वर्कर्स आर वर्किंग टूगेदर because this uh, left left and congress uh, working together because there is a bike bahinis and bike hooligans are there who are taking the votes and uh, they are giving the chappa votes mm -hmm. and uh, no the normal people can't give uh, votes to the uh, to the evm so because of this congress and left uh, come together to fight against this bjp all the violence will be forgotten the, all the violence yeah i mean between left and congress because right now to there is no independent i mean no uh, i am hard to say that people can't give votes so so so, so, so basically uh, uh, it's also the need i mean as they said the the larger the bigger enemy right now for political rival is the bjp and that's why two uh, arc rivals in politics have come together as i am speaking you can see this gentleman one of the volunteers in fact cleaning up this entire area quite impressive uh, to say the least but but this is the same question that i try to find the answer to because this could ladies and gentlemen be the most important factor uh, in deciding what happens in the state of uh, tripura whether the vote transfer between the left and the congress does take place alliance has happened but are the hearts meeting dil mil rahe hain ya nahi take a look at this report
one important key factor for the Congress party is going to be this man who is standing behind me, uh, Mr. Sudip Roy uh, De Burman. And he's uh, somebody, in fact, uh, who the Congress has a lot. I mean, he's the lone sitting MLA of the Congress party in uh, 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 Tripura. And, of course, uh, known as a local strongman. Should I call you a local strongman, sir? No, I am. Uh, that, that's what the image is. <laughs> and, and, a, and, and, a lot of, and a lot of people are hoping that for the Congress, with 13 seats that they are fighting, it is also going to be a key factor is going to be how you, in fact, campaign and uh, how you perform in this election. Yeah, I've got no out of doubt that uh, the missile of the BGP-led government will come to an end on 16th of February. Obviously, we have got to wait for a few more days because the counting will take place on 2nd of March. And the mood of the people is as such that they're going, BGP is going to be uprooted very badly from the state of Tripura. And it will open the door for other states in, 2000, uh, in the coming and swing state uh, assembly elections as well as 2024 uh, parliamentary elections. You know, you are campaigning on a day when there is a massive uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi rally which is going to happen uh, in uh, uh, Agartala. Uh, all the senior BJP leaders, uh, Mr. Home Minister was uh, here, Himanta Biswa Sarma has made this his base for the last few days. The Prime Minister is coming and going. Yogi Adityanath, Smriti Rani, uh, the Home, uh, the Defence Minister, everybody has been frequenting Tripura. And on the other side, we see a campaign which is, uh, which is not as high decibel as the BJP's. How will you match that? The people's good wishes are with us. Blessings are with us. Undoubtedly, we are at no match for what is campaigning is concerned in comparison with BJP the national leaders coming uh, as daily passengers in Tripura is that it's not going to make any sort of difference. People have already made up their mind. Now just a formality that we have to come campaign, that's it. People have made up their mind, proud of this government. They have decided to vote against the BGP. They have decided to uproot the BGP and tsunami is inevitable in these elections. Uh, two questions I'll ask more. One is about the Congress already uh, playing uh, let's say the younger partner as far or the smaller partner in this uh, coalition uh, between the left and the Congress, 13 seats is what your party is fighting. How does the Congress, I mean, is it not Congress relinquishing the space to the left parties, their arch rival? No, you see, we have forgotten the interest of the party in these elections. Because for us, the party's interest comes later. It's the interest of the people which uh, we have to honour. And the desire and the urge of the common people was that you have to at any cost tie up and ensure that there isn't any split of votes. That's what we are under immense pressure from the uh, grassroots level leaders and workers. Mm. And we respected their ideas, both the parties, so was the CPM leaders. There were immense pr uh, pressure upon them from the grassroots level leaders and workers to have some sort of understanding with the Congress party and vice versa. And we have done that because it was the desire of the common people to ensure that there isn't any split of votes allowing the BGP to come to power. <laughs> लेफ्ट का आप टोपी पहन के कांग्रेस के झंडों के साथ चल रहे हो ये तो प्रॉब्लम में थोड़ी होता है ऐसा आप लोग तो अलग अलग थे नहीं 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 ये हम लोग का तो हार्ड है ना हार्ड एक साथ है अभी हार्ड एक साथ है और पॉलिटिक्स अलग पुराना सब भूल जाएंगे इतना लड़ाई झगड़ा मारपीट पुराना अभी तो जिंदा रहना चाहिए अभी तो हम लोग खत्म हो गया खत्म हो गया क्योंकि हम लोग को अटैक हो रहा है दिन पे रात पे सब चौबीस घंटा में इसलिए साथ में हाँ साथ में और और साहब जो यहाँ पंचायत पुरुषवा का इलेक्शन हुआ ना हम लोग 2018 में ये बीजेपी को हम लोग जीवन बाजी रख रखे यहाँ लेके आया आपने बीजेपी को लेके आया हाँ लेके आया हम लोग हम लोग बीजेपी का कर्मी था एवं आपने बीजेपी को वोट किया था हाँ 2018 में और जब हम देखा जो लोग काम नहीं करता है हम तो इसके प्रतिबद्ध किया तो पंचायत पुरुषवा इलेक्शन में मेरा माथा फटाया मेरे को मार के निकाल दिया तो इसलिए आप अब कांग्रेस में वापस आ गए नहीं मैं तो कांग्रेस ही था तो इसको बोला बहुत अच्छा अच्छा खास करेगा बीजेपी को आप लोगों ने लोभ देखा 
बड़े बड़े सपने दिखाई ये देगा वो देगा बेकार को नौकरी देगा हर साल में पांच हजार नौकरी मिलेगी लोगों को नौकरी के अलावा तीस सौ चालीस रूपए में रेगा का मुजरी मिलेगा कुछ नहीं दिया यार कुछ नहीं दिया हम लोग ही इसको लाया दो हजार अठारह में कांग्रेस का वोटर ही उसको लेकर आया अब कांग्रेस का वोटर छोड़ के जा रहा है अभी पूरा का पूरा छोड़ दिया हम लोग पूरा कांग्रेस सब लोग कोई वजूद नहीं रहता ठीक है दूसरी बात है दूसरी बात है इन लोगों ने जो बड़ा बड़ा सपना दिखाया सबको ये देगा वो देगा और इनका जो गृह मंत्री है वो डायरेक्टली आपके न्यूज चैनल पे बोला की ये सब जुमला है और ये देने के लिए ये वादे करने के लिए जुमला बोलना पड़ता है तो इसीलिए यू नो सो दिस इज दिस इज व्हाट इज आप आप भी इनके साथ कांग्रेस के साथ कैंपेन कर रहे हैं हम आप लेफ्ट से हैं सीपीएम से हैं और इन, अभी कांग्रेस के साथ कैंपेन कर रहे हैं कांग्रेस के साथ कैंपेन कर रहे हैं क्यों कर रहे हैं कांग्रेस के साथ कैंपेन बीजेपी को हटाने के लिए हटाने के लिए यू नो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ऑल्सो वन एक्स फैक्टर दैट वी विल हैव टू वॉच आउट फॉर वेदर द कांग्रेस वोट विच शिफ्टेड ऑन मास टू द बीजेपी इन ट्वेंटी Uh, as these people are claiming is coming back how much of it is coming back that is possibly is going to be the key factor uh, for the success or the failure of the left and the congress alliance here in tripura wasn't it interesting you met both kind of voters of the congress party those who shifted to the bjp and have still stuck with the bjp at modi's rally and those who went to the bjp and are now coming back uh, to the left and the congress fold that is what ladies and gentlemen uh, will make this election very very difficult to predict and also very interesting in the end okay uh, now as i said for the congress and the left it's a battle for existence it's a battle for survival how are they gearing up for this my colleague rotundeep choudhury spoke to general secretary of cpim sitaram yachuri take a look is cpim's general secretary congress sitaram yachuri um uh, so yachuri you know this elections in uh, tripura perhaps uh, your party looks to be a bit weak because you're not contesting all the seats only 47 and that's what the bjp charge is uh, we did speak to some of their leaders and they're saying that you know cpm is at its weakest and therefore they're not contesting all the seats that they're taking the help of congress so how would you like to respond to this we are the strongest it's not the help of the congress we are responding to the, responding to the urge of the people of tripura the people of tripura who are actually saying restore democracy and the rule of law and had, are forcing the political parties those who want the restoration and who are committed to the constitution of india he's forcing these parties to come together to achieve this objective so it is the people's urge that we have responded to it's not a question of my weakness or somebody else's strength or whatever it is if there is anybody who is weak today in terms of support from the people it is the bjp and that is why they are resorting to the misuse of money power and muscle power which you will see in the next three days so you know growing very very uh, uh, vehemently and very anti democratically uh you know in the bengal elections at that point of time also cpm had said that you are coming together with the congress uh, as a demand from your workers your supporters here you are again uh, you have a seat sharing alliance the bengal experience was not good what were the lessons learned which you are implementing here and how it is different than the bengal tie up you know but how are you saying bengal experience has not been good the objective in bengal was what defeat bjp but you could not win seats yeah no but but did that happen or no first second is that the people said that the best vehicle to defeat bjp is the trinamool people made a choice so now people of tripura will make a choice which is the best vehicle here to defeat the bjp we are saying that it's not a question of forming a separate state the question is of greater autonomy to the tribals and there we told them both also we are willing to discuss with the constitution as the background within that framework but one last thing when you talk about electoral politics it's also about winning seats forming government but in lot of seats you have 
uh, you know candidates opposition candidates are contesting each other so there are chances of splitting of votes like, so, uh, like contesting each other money uh, like you have motha candidate uh, you have uh, uh, either cpm or congress then you also have trinamool congress in the fray so the opposition vote splitting uh, chances are there well i don't think that, that uh, any other player other than the left front the congress and the motha are relevant they are not <laughs> in in, the, in this whole exercise they won't even be spoilers so the question the question is that when it comes to the question of who will defeat the bjp that is the principal urge of the people of tripura so at that stage they will decide which one of the two like you were giving me the example of bengal that's what happened that's what people will choose who will defeat the bjp there but you have a ground level uh, understanding with motha as well there is no understand we had appealed to them but motha is not contesting all the 60 seats and it is not fielded a candidate against our secretary so i think the motha followers also have the same opinion that bjp has to be defeated that's all the time that we have in this edition of breaking views coming to you from uh, tripura uh, from agartala we'll continue to get you the ground reports tomorrow is the last day of campaigning stay tuned news and updates continue on ndtv